What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over Leak Code 189 Rotate Array. Now I made a video for this a while back but the video was subpar so I'm remaking it. Now the input is going to be an array and an integer and the output needs to be the same array after it's been rotated to the right k number of times. So for example for this input we would get this output and it would go from this state to this state to this state to this state. So a total of three rotations. So let me just quickly define what a rotation is. Okay, so as you can see, a rotation is just simply moving all the elements over one, one spot over to the right and the one that's at the very end actually just gets pushed to the front. So I'm going to go over the solution that I had before and then I'll also share a um, time complexity optimized solution which comes from the Leak Code Solution tab. So let's see what that's going to look like. Okay, cool. So I wrote the helper method to help us rotate the array. Now what we're going to do is use that in our original function. Now, as you can see, all we have to do is call this helper method k number of times and decrement k accordingly. Now, you might be going, wait a minute, what if k is really large? Isn't that going to take a really long time? And that's right. So what we can do is actually do k modulus n, where n is the length of the array. And this will actually cut down our time complexity by a lot. The reason we do modulus n is because if we have an array of length n and we rotate it to the right or left n number of times, we end up getting the original array. So that's one um, optimization we can use. Okay, so that's the basic approach. Now let's look at the optimized approach from the Leak Code Solution tab. Okay, so for our optimized approach, we're going to use reversing an array as a subroutine to our solution. So let's look at how we're going to use a subroutine to rotate our array by k times. Let's say, for example, we had an array with six elements and k is equal to two. We know that we need to make this thing look like this. So how do we go from here to here using this subroutine? Well, we know that every time we rotate something to the right, all we're essentially doing is taking the element on the rightmost side and putting it to the left. So if we're rotating something k times, we're repeating that process k number of times. In other words, we're taking k elements from the right side and just sending them to the left side. So how can we send elements from the right side to, el to the left side using the subroutine? Well, the first step is simply going to be to just rotate the whole array. So we have the elements that we need on the left side. However, they're not exactly in the right order. We know that k is equal to 2, so we only need the first two of them. And we need to make 6 and 5 look like 5 and 6. So we can just simply use the subroutine again and make it look like this. So we have 5 and 6, but we still have the 4, 3, 2, 1, which is slightly out of order. But very conveniently, all we have to do is rotate this subarray and we'll get the output that we need. So now we see that both of these are equal. Now let's quickly look at the code. Okay, so I wrote most of the skeleton code, but I left the arguments blank. Now recall that I called reverse three times for the earlier example, and the first time we called it, we reversed the whole array. 
So you can pause it right now and mentally fill in what these arguments would look like and then you can continue and check your answer. So the first time since we flipped the whole thing, we're going to be doing it from 0 to n minus 1. Now we're still going to do k modulus n because we want to optimize the number of times we're running k. Now the second two are going to be the flips of the appropriate k. So from the earlier example, we had 5 and 6 on the left side now, but now we just have to flip it around so we get the correct output. And the 1, 2, and 3, 4 also need to be in the right spot. So all we have to do is k, uh, the index k, till the rest of the array. Okay, cool. So that's how you solve leak code 189. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.